Welcome to the second part of the tutorial on how to run a two-way analysis of variance in RStudio. If you haven't seen the first part, I suggest you look at that first because there we introduce uh, the topic, we explain the study, uh, and also more importantly, we test for an interaction effect, which was significant. Now, if there is no interaction effect, um, then the model changes slightly. So first of all, we need, again, we need the car library, which we can call with this code, then we read in the data set and now we assume that there was no interaction effect. So then we rerun the model excluding the interaction effect. So the only thing that actually changes compared to part one of the tutorial is that the multiplication sign uh, becomes a plus. Multiplication means we test for interaction, plus means we only look for the effect, uh, for the main effect in this case of fixed factors, which is predator density and timing, on activity, but no longer the interaction. You can only do this after you made sure that the interaction effect was non-significant. If it was significant, you should only be looking at the interaction effect. In this case, it's not because we tested it. Uh, so we can run this model and then we do the ANOVA. If you have a balanced design, then the type of ANOVA, which is either one, two or three, does not matter. Uh, so if your group sizes are equal, it doesn't matter. If they're unequal, if you have a no interaction model, the best type is probably type two. Um, so we, we can run this uh, main effect model and then we can get results in the bottom. So if you look at, at the main effect of predator density on uh, bankfall activity, we see that it's highly significant. Also, if you look at the main effect of timing on bankfall activity, it's also highly significant. So both fixed factors have a significant effect on the activity of bankfall. Again, we'd have to check the normal distributions as I explained in part one. Uh, in this case, normal distribution of the model residuals. The dots are on a straight line. This is good, so we can assume that uh, this assumption has been met. We also check homogeneity of variance of the groups. Um, if you look at uh, the variance of these four groups, well, it looks to be, it looks quite good. Um, there's no major deviations, it's more or less similar, so we just assume for now that um, this assumption has also been met. Then, very important, the postdoc test. Um, if we're dealing with non-significant interactions, the best thing we can do is just conduct uh, tests for each main effect separately. So in this case, we're going to look at the effect of predator density, and after that, we're going to look for the effect of timing. For that, I use the library LS means. Uh, make sure you load it. Then first, we want to check what the effect is of predator density, the first main effect. Um, here, we get the contrast in the bottom. So if there is a high predator density compared to a low predator density, the difference in estimate is minus uh, 47 in activity, so 47 minutes. This means that there's much lower bankfall activity in high uh, predator areas compared to low predator areas. Now, if we do the same for the second main effect, which is timing, timing was either day or night. Uh, again, you look at the contrast. So day minus night equals uh, a difference in activity in minutes of 77 minutes. Uh, this means then that activity is much higher during the night than during the day. So this is how we can, can get an estimate of the effect of uh, the main effect or the magnitude of the main effect. Now we can also plot it. For that we use the ggplot library. Uh, I suggest to just draw very simple box plots because there is no interaction. So you, you'll get most information out of the box plot. Uh, you can also plot bar charts, for example. And this is, uh, well, this is what it looks like. There's no interaction, but there is an effect of timing. So we see less activity during the day than during the night. And also there is an effect of predator density with a higher activity of bank falls in areas of low predator density compared to areas of high predator density. So this was it for the two way ANOVA. If you want to uh, access the code, you can find it in the link down below.